Hello everyone, welcome back to Road Reg. So on today's video, we are gonna finally do an update video on the ceramic coating that me and John applied to my M140i. So the ceramic coating applied to my M140i is the Geon Evo Synchro Kit, which consists of a multi-layer application, Q2 Mose and Q2 Synchro. Mose being the base coat that will protect the paint from contaminants, provide the durability of the coating and provide a hydrophobic layer. The top coat delivering the gloss, strong color enhancement and enhancing the durability of the hydrophobicity. This coating cost about 110 pounds for the 50 mil version and 88 pounds for the 30 mil. Now they say this ceramic coating boasts up to 50 months of protection. I personally think that's a bit of a stretch and after 24 months, I'd want to restrip it, polish the car again and reapply the ceramic coating just to give the paint a new lease of life after it's been protected for two years but that's just me the plan for this video is to give the car a basic winter maintenance wash with snow foam and shampoo and then to see how easy it is to clean and then at the end of the video i'm going to give you my thoughts and feelings about the ceramic coating and if i think it's well worth doing or a waste of time and money so make sure you stick around to the end of the video so just a quick side note guys prior to filming this my car was cleaned about three and a half weeks ago and I used Geon Ceramic Detailer to finish it off. In terms of what conditions the car had been driven in, in between then and now, it was mostly rain, moving and static. Moving obviously being driven in the rain and static being parked in the rain. Seriously, it was a lot of rain. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a bit of context. Right, let's go clean this car. Right, now we are at the juicy bit guys, the bit you've all been waiting for, the snow foam. I do highly recommend to you to get Built Hamber Touchless. This is literally the best snow foam you can get. And again, I'm not sponsored by anyone for any of my videos. So this is just my own humble opinion. I've been using Built Hamber products for years now. I think I used to use their auto foam before. Then they did the touchless one. Um, it's a sugar-based snow foam pre-wash. Uh, this takes auto wash to the next level and it is simply amazing. When you are washing your car, make sure you always do go over it with a wash mate. You should never just snow foam your car and rinse it. It's always good practice. Even if there's just a little bit of dirt, just go over it with a wash mate and a single bucket, you know, if it's already, if it's that clean after you've snow foamed it. Um, but yeah, let's get this lovely snow foam on the car and see how it does.
We have snow foamed the car and I've rinsed it off. And as you can see, that alone has removed a lot of the dirt. And there are a few little specks on there that will come off with the wash mitt. But I think that's really impressive considering all we've done is snow foam the car. All I have used ever since this car has been um, ceramic coated is Gion's ceramic detailer. They recommend this product with all their ceramic coatings. This is the, I use this every wash um, just to sort of top the ceramic coating up. And what I'm gonna do now is just show you what the beading is like. So let's go, let's check it out. So as you can see, it's sheeting a little bit, but it is dispersing nicely. This is really good, guys. I mean, I think that's performing really well. And considering this was applied about seven or eight months ago, so far, so good. So as you can see here, this section of the bonnet is clearly not beading or appears to have any protection on it. And the reason for that is because I touched up a large stone chip very recently on the bonnet and then gave that section a very quick polish just to finish off the stone chip repair. Now, I'm a bit, actually, I think that's a bit of an understatement. I'm extremely OCD about this car. I don't like to leave any stone chips that have gone through to the primer unattended. If I were to leave stone chips unattended, this would lead to water getting under the paint, bubbling and causing rust long term. So I like to get these stone chips touched up as quickly as possible. The good news is if you do need to polish a section of your car for whatever reason and you have it ceramic coated, you can just use Gion's ceramic detailer to top up the ceramic coating and that will provide enough protection and beading during the gaps between when you wash it. Now, as you can see here, I only washed the car three weeks ago and it hasn't really lasted. This could be a potential problem if you're anything like me and you're handy with a polisher and you like to polish your paint. So this is definitely something to consider before getting your car ceramic coated.
right guys, we are at the end of the video. I've got a new jacket and I'm gonna try and give you my thoughts and feelings on ceramic coating your car. Do I think it's a good idea or is it a waste of money? If you don't have the ability to clean your car often or spend hours waxing it every few months, then I definitely recommend getting your car ceramic coated. It will be a lot easier to clean and maintain, and most importantly, it will protect your paintwork more so than a sealant or wax. If you enjoy waxing and polishing your car on a regular basis, then this ceramic coating may not be the option for you. However, what sets this ceramic coating apart from the rest is that it's DIY friendly. You don't need to worry too much about making your paint 100% perfect or must apply it inside with special lighting. This coating can be applied outside with no problem. Just make sure you give your car a proper clean and remove all contaminants before applying. And if you have the ability to polish the paint prior to applying the ceramic coating, it will further enhance how this coating performs and looks. Gion's Primer Polish is a perfect product for this and it's mess free and easy to use. So yeah, go grab yourself this ceramic coating and give it a go yourself. I highly recommend it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and comment on this video and subscribe for more content coming your way very soon. Take care.